Hey, what's up everybody? This is Nexus71C here with a tutorial on how to get campaign onto Halo Custom Edition. Because some people don't know how to do this and a couple people asked me to do this tutorial, so I'm like, okay, sure, I'll do it. So, since my Halo looks a lot different now, I loaded up a picture of what it's originally supposed to look like, which is this. And it only has multiplayer, profile, setting, credit, quit, you know. So if you want to play campaign, like the original campaign, or you're wanting the custom, like custom single player maps, the only way you're going to be able to do that is to get a custom UI. Now, the one I recommend you get is this. The Universal UI version 1.1. The link will be in the description, so you can easily download that. Uh, let's see. So, okay, so all you need to do is press download, of course. Nope, nope. Is that first click? And then, of course, you have to wait your 20 seconds. Stupid website. Always have to wait the 20 seconds. Now, I gotta say that I do recommend you guys getting the campaign thing if you don't already have it, because it is really necessary. Because what would this be without it? I mean, seriously. It'd be stupid. Customization would be pretty dumb. Alright, I know I just pressed that, so I don't need it, but you guys download it. Should take less than a couple minutes. So, you do that. You download it, and once you download it, you have your UI.map file. You have to have that. You don't really need anything else. Then go to your Halo Custom Edition folder, go to Maps, then, uh, where is it, here it goes, drag your UI.map in, copy and replace. Or move and replace, or whatever the heck it's, it tells you to do, you do it. You'll have to replace it. If you want to keep your old one just for it, then you're gonna want to back it up because you have to replace it in order to get your campaign. Because otherwise, you can't play campaign. No matter what you do, you can't play it without a campaign option. So you are going to need it. All right, just a second. Taking the watch off. Okay. So, now you got that in, you are good to go. All you have to do is go to Custom Edition. Scroll down. Let's load it up. Let's hope you guys could see it. I don't know if you can see it full screen or not, but we'll find out. Okay, and now we are back into Halo. And as you see, like, well, you already knew if you watched my previous videos, but... As you should see... It has been overridden and it should look like this, except, you know, not this. This top part should say your profile name and should have your own color, whatever. So, yeah. Anyways, so now we have the campaign and we have tons. We have the classic campaign. So we have the classic campaign here. You have to get your own files for it. I will not supply you the files for the original campaign. Uh, I'll probably, s how about this? I'll try to find some custom made of the campaign and I'll try to supply you with that if I can't find any then just search up on Halo Maps dot org or we wait yeah Halo Maps dot org just search it up you'll see. Okay. You also got some CMT projects like the single player V3, the Sound Cartographer Evolved. Uh Halo Convert Ox. Project Lumoria. Project Takedown. You even got the more creations. Like, let's see, you got team levels, the campaign here, Bio Halo, campaign 2, clean up, Coliseum, contact demise. You got all these cool stuff. Oh, whoops. Not what I asked for. I want to do this. So, you see, we got tons of stuff. Uh, let's use it. So, yeah. And this one even has a firefight option. So, if you have one of those custom firefight maps, you can instantly load it into this. There's 
tons automatically loaded in, so you can go ahead and go to Firefight if you have one of those maps. Even has your multiplayer menu. So of course you still have your multiplayer internet. Still have all this. Still have your game type, all that other crap. Settings are over here now, so you can do that. And your profile is up, so you just go up to it, click it. You can edit it. See? You can edit it. It even tells you your controls that you're on. What level you're on. Shows you a little guy. Looks pretty cool. But anyways, alright, I hope this tutorial helped you figure out how to get campaign. Like, you can use anything. Just literally search up custom UI. You don't have to get what I gave you, but I do recommend it. Okay? I, I literally recommend this one. This one is the best one out there. I mean, there are other ones that are like Star Wars themed and Star Trek and all these other game themes. You could have those if you want them, but this one's the best because it shows so much stuff in it. You can play Firefight with it. You can see all the campaign missions. You don't have to go through your multiplayer menu and scroll all the way down and all this other crap. It's just much better this way. So anyways, I hope it helped you and I will see you guys next time. So, see you later. Look at the description for all your stuff.